Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is destined to the beautiful sign of Pisces. My dear friend Pisces, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So it really is important that you do take whatever resonates with you, especially it being such an emotional type of reading and it is a channeled reading with your past loved ones. Um, well, that being said, if you do have any questions, you would like your own reading, my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Also, um, if you are a if you are a subscriber, perfect. At the end of the video, please, if you would like me to channel a message out, please do uh, write your name or your nickname and a brief message, and I will channel that out to your loved ones. If you are not a subscriber, you must subscribe to the channel and then uh, write in the comment area at the end of the video your message, and I will channel that up with much love. Also, so same as usual, when I'm done with um, giving out the messages that are here I am going to give you the messages that have crossed over so let's begin I am just a thought away I am so much better now now I have no pain and there is no time where I am time is only on the earth so let's begin with I am just a thought away please don't think of me as gone because I'm not. I'm right here. Please don't think of heaven as up into the sky because it's not. It's right here. And yes, I am happily busy with learning and helping, but I'm also happily willing to be right by your side the moment that you need me. All of our former communication barriers, they've been lifted. And I now understand and I hear you perfectly. I hear your thoughts, and please don't worry, I don't judge them, I don't judge you. My heart is now completely open to compassion, and I understand and I love you like I never could before. And that's why I'm with you the moment that you think of me. I am so much better now. I know you worry about me and you wonder how much I suffered in my life and passing. Both you and I would feel so much better though if you would focus on the present. I promise you that I feel a million percent better now that I'm here. Your love for me is a true miracle, especially after all that we went through. I value and I honor your love more than you will ever know. Now that I'm out of my physical body, there's no more pain, there's no more suffering. I am free. My mind is also healthy, as I no longer have to worry about any of the stressful parts of life. Truly the only thing that would make me happier is for you to be happy. And as much as you pray for me, I pray for your happiness too. I love you. Now, I have no pain. You worried whether I suffered in my passing, and I'm here now to tell you that all physical pain is connected to the body. Now that my body has been laid to rest, I am completely pain-free. Before, movement was slow and it was cumbersome, but now I am also so light and free that I can be wherever I want with just one thought. Part of my life review has been to examine the source of my previous physical pain and to take responsibility but without guilt for my role in manifesting those conditions. I now see that the path of pain was a choice that my soul made and I am learning great lessons of compassion of empowerment from that path. There is no time where I am. Time is only on the earth. Life is short, it's true, 
and it's even shorter from my heavenly vantage point, where the entire human lifespan seems to pass more quickly than the blink of an eye. So I am happy to be with you for the rest of your life, because I love you, and because time is in abundance here. We don't measure time as you do, because time is a figment of the physical world. On earth, it is used to compare past, present, and future. Where I am now, only the present exists for all eternity. And my love and care for you is also timeless and eternal. Moving over now to the following part of this reading, I'm going to give you the messages that have passed by. Um, first of all, I would like to give you some names that have passed by by like this. I have a Rose. I have an Isabel. I have a Charlie. I have a Diane. I also have an Amy. I have a Benjamin. I have a Samuel. I have a Greg. They all want to say how much they love you. Um, I also, I have here, um, I have a lady who wants to tell, uh, this is a woman who, it's a mom, she wants to tell her daughter, please talk to her, she wants you to talk to her, she knows that you have some challenges right now and she wants you to talk to her every single day, she says that she's going to, she's there, she's going to listen and she is going to help you to find the answer to the challenge that you're in right now, okay, uh, don't let go, she is there. Um, also, um, I have somebody out there which is in a couple and I fear as though um, there's a separation maybe at hand and your parents, they want to tell you to listen to your voice, listen to your inner voice. They're trying to guide you. They're trying to use, you, you need to use your intuition, okay? And this is being sent out to... Um, this is being sent out to a Julie, I believe, okay? So if Julie, you're out there and you're listening and you're in a separation right now, please do um, talk to your parents, try and, and listen to your intuition, okay? They're trying to send you some messages. I also have a Camilla. And um, Camilla wants to tell, she wants to tell her daughter that uh, she's going to be there when she's giving birth. I also have a final message here and this is coming from somebody who, um, it's a male and he seems to be, a, I, I don't have his name, there seems to be A and there seems to be an O in his name and um, he passed away, I believe he, he, um, he passed away, I'm not quite sure how, um, and he wants to tell his girlfriend and he wants to tell his parents and his brother how much he loves them and he is guiding over them. That being said, this does end this reading. I do hope that you got some um, messages that were sent to you. Um, I thank you for listening. I thank you for being there. If you do have any questions, please do let me know. If you are a subscriber, please do write in the comment area and I will send your messages out to your loved ones. And if you're not, please do subscribe and I'll send the messages. I wish you a wonderful day. Many blessings and I'll see you tomorrow.